and welcome to another episode on the channel. Today we are going to be playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 um, and I've decided not to go forward with the ARC series as reasons. Yeah, they're the reasons. Um, but anyway, welcome to my mixed era park. So this park is split split in sections due to what um, what time zone, time era did that whatever dinosaurs were in. So here we got the Cretaceous, the Jurassic, and as there was not many creatures in the Triassic, we got the Triassic and what I, I forgot the name, but whatever the one with the Dimetrodon was called, because that was the only one that was in that era. Um, but yeah, so let's get straight into it by going to the best place yet, the guest section. Um, yeah. And, of course, the Spinoskeleton, but the Spinosaurus will not be appearing in this park today, which is, uh, very, very sad. Um, but anyway, we got some shops, as you do. And then, walking down a bit, we have a hotel with some trees. Then we got a monorail station, but we'll go on that later. Uh, we got some emergency bunkers, some toilets, and a fossil zone, which is always really cool to have in your park, obviously. And yeah, one last look at the spinal skeleton. There we go. And now that, that leads us back out into this bit where we have the two fountains and the chairs. So I reckon we first visit the Jurassic period, as this is. Alright, I guess. So here, the reason how I know what period they were in is because in the game, there's this, this up is here. The Shush! 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 Wait. Wait. Uh, settings. Audio. There we go. Um, so in the game there's this control room, and then there's Jurassic World Database. And then you go on the dinosaurs, you go on here and you click anyone that's clicked the Cryolophosaurus, and it'll say what period they're in. And it is not separated by early, late, and mid, it's just, it's just, um, what time zone they're in. So this is the Jurassic period. In here we have three Allosauruses, as you can see back there. Should be... Two more in there, but they're probably asleep. Oh, there's another one. And then I saw another one run past there just now, so. I think he's over there sleeping. Yeah, you can slightly see him. In here we have the Monolophosaurus. You can see them all at the back there, but if we go. If we go this way, then we'll be able to see them, so. There we go. There is the Monolophosaurus. There's like eight of them, I think. Eight? Yeah, eight, I think. Anyway, up here we have like quite a big enclosure for the Megalosauruses. And there's this little circle bit where you can just watch them. And I'm just going to go in. Just because, yeah, oh my light is on. I don't know how these are a lot large creature though. They don't deserve to be in the large ca category as they are. About the same size as me. In the game. In the game. Uh, here's the Allosauruses again. There's that one that we didn't see. Yeah, there's all three of them. In here we have the Brachiosauruses. There's four of them in here. I can see one's head poking out in the forest. Let me try and get a thumbnail shot here because it actually looks great. Alright, there we go. Uh, should be another one. He's probably sleeping. And then for in that forest part of it. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go find it because yeah. Uh, three of them are over there. Got this hill. Hmm. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, right. That must be the other one. There we go. 
You've seen all the brachiosauruses. And this megalosaurus again. Got some walls here. Going across down here. Hotel, as you do. And in this one, you can see nothing. The story is great. Uh, if we go down here, actually, because we still need to go down that way, but I, I just missed these guys. Uh, in here we have the Ceratosauruses. We have four of them again. Two yellow ones, one blue one, one pink one. It's always pretty cool. In this one, in this Jurassic section, there is a lagoon. And we're going to go there right now. There, there was no Avery. Um... I was going to put one in, but then I just completely forgot, and then I couldn't really be bothered. So, yeah, there's not really an Avery, so sad. And I forgot to put a dinosaur into the park. Well, it's not a dinosaur. I forgot to put the Ichthyosaurus in. Uh, they're not in here, though. These are the Attenboroughsauruses. You can see them all in there. I'll get a shot of them at the end. Oh, there's a fish. I'll get a shot of these guys at the end anyway, it's fine. So, if we just go back. There's the monorail. Uh, so, there was meant to be ichthyosauruses in here, but there wasn't, sadly. So, it's a bit whatever. Here are the toilets. Here is another emergency shelter. And now we shall go back to the... Um, the guest section again and we shall go to the Cretaceous period so let's go there right now back at the guest section here's the way into the Cretaceous period also I put these flags down so yellow means Cretaceous, red means Jurassic and green means Triassic and the other one. So this is the first one I worked on actually. Uh, so we have this nice little planter as if you could feed the Edmontosauruses. So you would get a handful and then feed them. Which is pretty cool and then go around to uh, the invisible fence. And some rocks. And here we have the Acrocanthosaurus. Looking great. With the galaxy like esque pattern. As you can see on the back there. I'm going to get out of there though before something goes bad. Here we have this nice little decoration thing. Which looks pretty cool. With the spine sail skeleton. Um, toilets like you do. Uh, some more monsters. The hotel. Which everything needs a hotel. You can see everything at the back there. I am going to quickly top up that feed on what's the bet? Oh, it's not one of them. Uh, I don't know what feeder it is. Uh, yeah, I'm on off sources. Alright, I'm gonna quickly replace this. I do have a ranger station, but I just can't be bothered to use them because they probably won't even be able to get you. Alright, so where was I? I was at the hotel and I was about to come out of the hotel. Okay, so here's the acro. There's a lagoon there, but we'll get to that eventually. And here. We have a huge raptor paddock with 10 raptors. Uh, you have the basic skins. You have one 2001 skin. You have Echo here. Just a random skin. That's Echo. It's another random skin. And there's like Charlie, Delta, Echo and Blue in here as well. Where are they? Oh, here's Charlie. Don't know where Blue and Delta is. Are you Delta? Oh, you're Blue. Don't know where Delta is, but Delta's in there along with some other skins. You're Delta. Yeah, bag out there. Anyway, so in here we have um the Chronosaurus. Right, you guys are constantly e eating. There's no way I'm going to miss a show. You going to go up and get that? Surely. No way. 
Like these guys are the main reason like I have to I have to use my feeders. Like these guys just drain drain me because of how much they use my feeders. Well they make me re replace their feeders, so I'll get a shot at them at the end I guess. Whatever. Anyway, let's go the other way. And we go a left here, and then we go a right here, and we also have flood, uh, not floodlights, we just have some lights for when it turns to night. In here we have two T-Rexes, no movie skins or anything, just two random skins, which is set to be a green and a purple. So I could have pretty much used Buck and Doe for this. Oh no, she's getting up now. That is very, very scary. Okay. Let's go. And here we have an Avery. Like you do. And that's all this in Cretaceous as well now. And then another target, as you do. Uh, and in here we have the Geo Sternbergia. Right, I swear to God, if that is the Cronus, we just missed the meat. Alright, there we go. Then in here we have the Geostone Burger, so I'll just go here. Uh, this one's my favourite skin. It's very, very nice. But yeah, this is the Avery Studio Stoneberg has done there. Uh, yeah. That's that. So let's just spawn back at the gear center. And let's go to the, um, let's go to the Triassic period, which is like this green. Follow this part down here. And this should be have three dinosaurs down. Well, technically four, but three. So in here we have the Hararosaurus, which is looking very snazzy. Is another. Uh, there should be if quite a few in here. I haven't really seen these guys' colours. Oh, I like it. I like that. It's cool. Uh, in here we have the Celiophysis. If they will show up, at least. Uh, I don't see any. They're probably all hidden away in the forest. Oh, there's one. Nice colour. Oh, here's another one. I think they're all... No, I was about to say, I think they're all the same colour. No, they're not. They're all, like, pretty much in sync. The Harar sort of scared me. Alright, I don't know where they are really. They're just mainly back in that forest. Oh, there's a green one. Alright, now let's go to the main part of this place. And this is the Dimetrodon Hotel. I did use the Dress Park Hotel as this is the best one to use for interactive hotels. And... Obviously, we have the Dimetrodon in here, and this is the 2022 variant. Pretty cool. Uh, we have another one there. There's like 12 of them in there. So, there's, an, there's another three, four, five, six. See, my tortoise is trying to escape his little pen thingy. And I give him the will, well, I'm giving him the option to leave, so. And there's probably some back in the, um, well, there's one right by my bin. Alright, so there's loads of dimension on you, as you get the point. And then back here was meant to be the Ichthyosaurus, um, but I just didn't get around to put, putting any in. Um, but anyway, there's one more thing I'd like to show you, and that was, you go through the monorail station, you go along here, 
along here and you go to here. This is where all the dinosaur fronts are happening. I didn't get time to decorate this one really as I pretty much only just did this. I was working on this today and yesterday and I only got round to doing this before the video. No, I don't want to go in here. Okay. Huh? Huh? Wait. Wait, how are you? Wait, did you just run in and out of this place? What? Excuse me? Excuse me. So that's why I've been getting so many dinosaur threats. I thought it was just because they were attacking cars or something. Alright, well, anyway, there's an iguanodon. This is meant to be a tour of the Cretaceous period. Herbivores, and here's an iguanodon. I guess, and there's a ferret there. Something happened. Something. My brother came busting into my room expecting me to give him stuff. So. Well, anyway, there's a sleeping iguanodon, which is out of his cage. Um, so we go along here a bit. And this, well, this is the Cretaceous period. Like I've said, all the herbivores, there is some triceratopses. Which are very, very snazzy. There's not a lot in here. As literally, I only just pretty much done this. Some triceratops. Go up here. Land that. You're a total beast. Go up here, and we should have some. A whole lot of nothing. Well, there should be some that this little lake thing. And yes, we had some Euoplocephalus. Euoplocephalus. One of my favourite dinosaurs. Some Amargosauruses. Which I completely forgot were in here. And literally, I never use the Amargosaurus. So there's the Amongsaurus. Then there's the three Iguanodons, but now I'm trying to find... Turns out there's some dinosaurs down here, so I'm gonna go to see them. Oh wait, no, I don't think, I think they're in a cage. Yeah, they are. Well, there's a fair, there's two pair of Xenosauruses here as well, which should be in the enclosure. But they're not. I'm, I'm not worried because they won't go anywhere anyway. So, so yeah. But that was the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next one. And enjoy these overview shots.